Yeah, hello everybody and um, welcome to my little tutorial um, for a software success point to recover. Um, as you know, um, not only software success point is supported by the official uh, support tool, so you must find your own way to recover your software success point um, when it's not in a guarantee right now or um, you don't want to send it back and wait uh, one one week or two weeks um, we are in the business and um, we know that um, we want we, we, we use the, 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 the wireless network and uh, we don't want to send it for one week back only because the employee plug the Air 45 jack out and um, the firmware upgrade um, yeah um, <clears throat> aboard and you can uh, throw it away because it's a brick and <coughs> you cannot use it anymore um, for my opinion it's uh, a tragedy that uh, suffers uh, don't publish um, don't publish um, a tool that uh, recover all assess points. Um, what I expect from a company like Sophos, um, that I um, we are we are we are all um, <clears throat> technical people, and um, I think that it's impossible to um, have a tool for for assess point for all assess points from Sophos to recover it. Um, it's a piece of shit, uh, from my opinion. Um, that I must um, buy a USB to TTL converter to um, assess the serial connection here on this AP15. Um, yeah, but it's it is so, so uh, we must handle it. Yeah, so um, I try to explain you a little bit. I've already written a manual on uh, suffers.com. Uh, I put your link in the um, in the um, under the video. I don't explain every every single step here in the video. I uh, try to um, yeah how I um, come to um, yeah this information and um, then you can follow my manual on suffers.com to recover your assess point and uh, maybe later I um, <coughs> um, maybe later I um, can um, yeah um, yeah. I don't know what I say at this moment, but uh, yeah. yeah, I come from Germany and it's not really easy to um, fluently uh, speak English, but uh, I give my best so you can understand me and um, <clears throat> yeah, now, yeah. so yeah, we have a, a USB uh, to serial TTL adapter, um, it's really easy, you can see that it has a 5 volt, 5 volt? 3 volt, 3.3 3 volt, so, uh, TX, RX and GND ground. Um, we only need um, three connections, ground, TX and RX. <coughs> RX. Um, yeah. So you must know that um, when you connect uh, the RX, <coughs> the RX connector must connect to TX on the software success point. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and the TX connector must connect on the RX connector on the assess point. GND must be on GND. It's uh, simple. Yeah. Um, the question is how you know it. Uh, how, how you know the pins, the exactly um, the exactly signals. Um, it's really easy. I try to show you. <coughs> you must have a multimeter. As we call it here in Germany, <laughs> maybe you can call you call it uh, Aber. So we put it on Ohm. <laughs> the Germany word is Ohm. Um, yeah. So we put it here on the two thousand ohm kilo ohm twenty. Yeah, <coughs> good. Yeah, so we put this shit here right now. So <coughs> it's a little difficult, a little bit difficult to film it and uh, show you, but I try my best. 
Um, yeah. So here we can see um, the, the uh, four pin serial connection. Um, with this method, you can easily flash all access points, not only from sofas. Um, by um, it's um, the, the only thing is that you must know um, that it has a serial connection. Maybe it's uh, um, external or it's internal. Here, sofas uh, the uh, sheep AP15 they don't want to make the work and uh, put it outside, they have a pin bar inside. It's really nice that Sophos have uh, already uh, soldered a pin bar here in, in it, so that I don't um, solder it here uh, myself. Um, yeah, So this is the serial connection, a 4 pin. And this is the JTAG connection. JTAG is another um, technology to a uh, flash, um, but we don't um, use it right now because it's very complex and um, as we can use the serial connection we are good to go and yeah. So I'll show you how I find it out. <coughs> we must um, put our black wire, um, wire <laughs> our black thing here and put it on the um, here on the antenna spot. Yeah and then you Go here, the uh, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, and you test it, and when when, when on the multimeter are 0 0.00 um, ohm, Widerstand, what heißt Widerstand, ohm, and then you have found the GND. So when you found GND, so you, you make a picture and you write GND and you uh, know that this point pin is GND. Z <coughs> zero point, point zero. It must have zero point zero. So then we uh, discover RX and TX. So you must put it here on voltage. DC. Voltage DC. So now you're <clears throat> at the second step, you put your black wire here, and then you go through the ports, the pins, and um, when you find a pin that it has um, two point, in my in my case at the AP15, I think it was two point seven voltage, then it's the um, yeah, uh, the the TX connection, yeah. And when you find um, and when you find um, an other pin with 3.3 voltage, then it's the uh, VCC. Uh, <clears throat> um, it's it's not it's not um, it's it's for it's for um, <coughs> it's the voltage to um, yeah, to um, connect other um, other other devices, but we don't need it because we have here already a five point voltage um, USB connector. It gives the the <coughs> it gives the um, voltage here to the uh, it uses, and um, we don't um, we don't need the three point three volt connection here right now, so. When you find a 3.3, okay, you forget it, and then you have a connection with 0.0 uh, .0 voltage, and then you use it because that's it's the RX connection. Yeah, and then you then you have it, and um, you can connect it to your USB TTL connector you um, you get from Amazon. <coughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, and uh, connect the um, the pins um, TX to RX, RX to TX, GND to GND. Yeah, and then you um, install it in Windows. You can get the drivers from the website. <coughs> you can see the ships that are Amazon.com, then you put it on Google, and then you download the drivers, easy as fact. And yeah, then you go into the <coughs> device manager. Then you go into the device manager, go to com, and then you see your um, device. 
maybe Windows um, install the driver itself, then you're good to go. You can try it. But I download the actual driver from the website. I feel better with it. So you go to connection. <coughs> Sorry for that. You go to um, connection and then connection settings and then you um, put the baud rate to 115,200 and um, you don't make any other settings here you can click here and then you can set the com port, com port if, if you want um, I don't want it uh, I um, put it on free, com, com port free so you're good to go then you use my all-time favorite program, Putty. Yeah, and you go to serial connection. Put the speed in it. We know it, 150,200. You put your COM port from the device manager, COM port free. We say open. You connect it. Yeah, I, I can show you. So, Open. Okay, unable to open. So, I'm going to close it here. Yes, yes, yes. Blah. Putty. Putty, putty, putty. So, yeah. We go to the serial connection. Comport free, and then you hear. Um, it displays, um, as you can see, this, this software success point at this moment is uh, totally fucked up. It cannot make anything that you want from it. Make your VLAN to watch YouTube or other things. Um, so um, it only displays that uh, the connection um, from the IR45 um, is uh, one gigabit. <coughs> <coughs> It's because that I connected it already to my network card. So I show you what you get when you put your <coughs> access point, um, when you put your, uh, um, when you put voltage on it. So I start it, stop it here, LED goes off, and I put it in. So this is your external display um, for your sofas um, right now. So we, I put the voltage in and you can see the boot process, the U-boot, boot u ladder comes, goes on. As here, ne, focus, yeah. okay now, hit and key to stop auto boot. That you must press and then you can follow my manual on, um, on sofas.com. I put you the link in the description. Um, yeah, it's the same shit as I write in the manual. I don't want to explain it anymore. Um, but you can see it's the same uh, failure as on the AP55 that I already covered with my manual. Bad data CRC. The image is corrupt from the Linux kernel image that um, drives OpenWRT. And yeah, so I show you the boot process with the U boot. We put it in here, it boots. Now we press the button and now we're in the U with Bootloader and now you can erase the memory. You make a TFTP server, a DACP server, you get the IP from the access point um, that he wants to have to um, um, download the image from your notebook over the area 45 connection and um, downloads the image from the from the um, from the notebook over TFTP and um, then you can um, flash it with uh, special commands that are already written as manual and um, yeah it's really easy it uh, only needs four minutes of your time or ten minutes maybe and um, you don't want to you don't must send it to software or other or throw it away you can use it and, and it's really nice. Yeah, I hope I hope I can help you with this uh, little manual. I hope you understand me in English. 
Yeah. Um, must I say other things? Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, um, as I can as I can say, um, as I already said, um, you uh, you can flash every assess point with this method. The only change is that the pins um, will other more pins maybe or five, six, seven pins for serial connection. But you only need uh, three, three, three pins. Um, you must find it out. As maybe you can find it at Google. Already have uh, discovered that and <clears throat> and write it in a manual. Then you're good to go, but maybe you must uh, at this. Uh, maybe you must um, you must find it out yourself. I show you how you can get this. Yeah, um, I, I I Google it uh, myself um, where <clears throat> how I can recover and suffer AP and uh, the AP fifteen um, in this um, AP fifteen in this case. And um, I don't. I find a guy. <laughs> um, from Germany that um, unsolded this ship, but I think um, and and then flash it with the EEPROM programmer. But it's um, much more complex, and I don't think that you must use it when you can only put three wires on it, uh, put a little comments here, and that you're good to go. That's uh, that's lots a lot of easier, and maybe more people can do it. And when you don't can do it, I'll be there for you with a little amount of money from my time. And um, yeah, write me a letter, and then we we can make it. It's easy. Yeah, good. I have paper. <laughs> we can make it. Yeah, uh, thank you, and um, yeah, have <coughs> a lot of uh, funny times and uh, much of fun uh, with your software's AP. And yeah, I hope you can enjoy it. And um, yeah, I hope. It works after this. So, um, yeah.